Hey guys, welcome back to the Stargaze Man channel. So, short video today. I've just had the chance to try out the Seastar S30 in equatorial mode. So, if you haven't uh, tried this before, highly recommend giving it a go. If you're new to telescopes and smart scopes, etc., um, please check the links in the channel for explanations around what these scopes are and some tutorials. And if you decide to buy one, always please support the channel by using one of the affiliate links. But onto equatorial mode in the Seastar S30 and also in the S50 if you have one. So I have the Seastar set up in the orientation uh, that I used last night. Sorry, just going to give the lens a quick rub here because phone just came out of my pocket so the first thing that you want to do is when you're setting up on your tripod is to have your tripod leg facing north so north for me is in this direction um, I'm using the s50 tripod um, but you can use any tripod that you want and the reason why it's important to have this leg um, facing north is that it supports the um, center of gravity um, or the weight of the uh, telescope uh, as it leans in this direction so um, the first thing that you do is obviously set your leg to north um, and then you want to level your uh, setup level your tripod and you can do that by just putting um, a spirit level or bubble level across sometimes the tripods have these that's perfectly fine um, I'm using one of these uh, level adjusters. Um, it's from Newer. You can pick these up uh, on Amazon and uh, lots of different stores. Again, I have a few links in the description if you guys want to pick them up. And I find this really, um, really fast to, uh, to, to level. Um, I also use it with the S30, sorry, the S50, uh, because you have to uh, make sure that that's pretty level before you begin. So anyway, level as best you can. And then the tricky part, I think, for people that have never used anything in equatorial mode before is uh, how do I orientate the scope? So it, the, the C-Star have done this slightly differently. I won't go into the reasons now, might make a, bit, a video on this later on, but for simply the purposes of somebody who has this scope or wants to buy the scope, how do I set it up? What you need to do is you need to have something that can uh, be angled incrementally. Um, sorry, something that can be angled incrementally so that you can then uh, set it to your latitude. So my latitude here is 52-ish degrees. Um, I think there is some markings on this one as well that can kind of show you roughly where it is. And what you do is you set it up to your latitude and then attach your uh, sea star on top of that. Uh, important orientation uh, note is that the button, and it's pretty simple, right? It's just the button needs to be facing upwards. So pretty much exactly like that. Now, if you use the app, um, there's a very good kind of tutorial in the app itself and, and it walks you through it but I just said I'd make a quick video just to show you a uh, kind of real-world example of the setup. Right, so we have our leg facing north, we have the setup leveled, um, we have got our angle correct for our latitude, and we've got our sea star at top. And basically what you do after that is you run through the um, polar alignment procedure. So to um, then set it up in the app, you just select uh, the icon for the scope that you're using. That'll bring you to advanced features, select equatorial mode. I think it's selected by default once you run the firmware update. After that, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, what you want to do is you just want to run down through the menu uh, where it says to adjust the, the latitude. And there's an icon or a little gra infographic uh, that'll actually show you whether you're within that range or not. And then once you're within that range, you can then just hit um, the button that says check polar alignment. And then the scope will just come alive. It'll point to an ob object uh, in the sky and it just does its automatic polar alignment. The next part after that is it will tell you whether you're in polar alignment or not. 
and you just make slight adjustments um, and once you're in polar alignment you get a good green check and you're good to go so i'll include some results of last night's effort uh, again thanks for watching if you enjoyed the channel please give it a like a follow and clear skies keep looking up